It's that time again. We got an Amazon Custom Returns Electronics Pallet to go through. So, excited about this one. Price point, the full Amazon.com manufacturer suggested retail price of everything in these two large boxes that came on one wooden pallet, $1,768. That was the full MSRP price point, okay? My cost was $222. I had to pay over what I like paying. I like keeping it at around 10% if possible, but we're in fourth quarter now. When it hits fourth quarter, October, November, December, liquidations, the prices can fluctuate so much fourth quarter just because it's getting close to Christmas. But that's just kind of the, the liquidation game. I mean, prices can go up, they go down. Sometimes they stay steady at a 10% price point. But I mean, the closer we get to Christmas, the more electronics can go up in price and toys can go up in price. Actually, right now, I can't even buy toys from any of my local spots. Nobody is selling toys right now. It's very strange. Uh, there's never been such a large drought before in toys from toy pallets. It's very odd. It doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah, I haven't been able to get toys now for, I'd say, what, six weeks maybe? Four? Six at least for maybe as long as six weeks, no toy pallets at all. So I don't know if my liquidators are holding them back not to sell them till Christmas time when it gets closer, like in December, when the prices will just, they'll, they will go insane. I mean, if my liquidators don't sell any toys at all from like September through November, and then they start dropping them around Thanksgiving or so, watch prices go like 50% of MSRP. I won't touch them because that's too much, but it's very strange how... I cannot find any local liquidators who are doing toys. I mean, yeah, you, like you, you can go online to lo lots of uh, liquidation company websites and buy toys right now, but locally, I've got like five liquidators, four liquidators, five. Nobody's got toys. It's the strangest thing. I've never seen this before. But, got electronics, which are my favorite to actually do. So as long as electronics don't dry up, and nobody stops selling them, I will be happy. So here we go, electronics. First thing, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, so first box right on top, the stuff in it. Graf graphing pad. Graph pad. Okay, so those those two two things on top weren't out home runs. And oh man, this one's heavy. We've got a mounting dreams wall mount. This is like one of the heavy duty ones too. Yeah, these I usually sell locally for like 15, 20 bucks just because of the weight of them. They weigh a lot and they cost a lot to ship out, and most uh Customers don't want to pay the shipping cost because once they find out how much that costs to ship to them across the country, they can just buy it brand new off of Amazon if that's what they want. You know what I'm saying? Shipping costs can kill sales because companies like Amazon get highly subsidized shipping rates. If this package, I'm just going to, okay, like, like this. If this would cost me six bucks to ship from here out to Nevada... Amazon can ship the same package for about 50 cents. That's not a joke. Amazon gets crazy subsidized shipping from the U.S. government and USP or and uh, UPS. Crazy subsidized shipping. And uh, Amazon also is starting to do their own shipping service. Like they actually, from what I've read, Amazon plans to actually have their own completely shipping company, their own fleet of planes and trucks. Or there'll be Postal Service, UPS, FedEx, DHL, and then Amazon shipping. Coming soon from what I understand, you know. Oh, a ventilated laptop stand. It's still sealed. Put your laptop on it. Airflow, you know what I'm saying? So, a lot of these items, um, I won't like update every price down below. Because a lot of these things, you know, if I don't quote a price or have a price down below... You know, that means I might sell it locally for like five bucks, ten bucks, or just a couple bucks, or I might just donate it as a tax write off. Major items, I will update prices down below, but as I edit the video, I will just have kind of like a running total of everything. Uh, 
but not all prices will be updated down below because you know things like this you know it's like about five bucks you know what i'm saying so just to explain the process down below oh universal travel case small electronics i've been selling those about 10 bucks Ooh. where's the good stuff we have a renewable mini dehumidifier evadry this thing is used yeah wireless charging pad okay so we got a wireless charging pad does it at least have a cord to plug into the wall it doesn't look like it i guess you got to supply your own charging cord but yeah wireless charging pad these i usually sell for about 15 dollars and i've got a bunch of cords so this is an easy sell though i mean 15 bucks i mean out the door it's gone let's see what else we got Oh, we got a mounting bracket. Looks like this must be for a vehicle. It's like mount, uh, like an LCD screen or something. Just the mounting accessories is all that's in, in this package. Uh, charger for use with a Sunjo model HJ602C, as in Charlie. Yep, just a charger. So a lot of these chargers. I actually keep a bunch of them uh, just because I'll get stuff in the future that needs a charger and most of those chargers I actually don't sell them always need more chargers love baby okay so it must be it's love baby oh that's neat you put all your baby's teeth in this thing. You can write their name, birth date, weight, birth height, constellation, blood type, best wishes for the baby. Put, and also you can put their umbilical cord in here also. That's different. I don't think anybody saved my umbilical cord. Is that a thing now? Or has it always been a thing? I just didn't know it. So you can put all your kid's teeth in their umbilical cord in this thing. <laughs> That's different. I don't know if this thing has much value to it, but it's kind of, I mean, it's interesting. It's different. Oh, and it has little tweezers so you can like take out the baby's teeth and look at them if you want to, I guess, or put them in, you know, that's different though. This might sell for like 15, 20 bucks. I won't be shocked if this thing sells for like 20 bucks, honestly, but why is that any electronics? That's different. That's very different. Here we got a remote control operation manual on the back says it is car MP3, MP5 player with, okay, so this is just the hookup cords for it. So the person who, re who returned this kept the actual MP5 player in seven inch HD display and they just returned just like the accessory cords that they didn't need or want. So yeah, that's a, Customer return scam right, right right there. Same as this. This probably actually came with a screen, but they kept that too. So, yeah, I mean, another customer return scam. Watching my YouTube channel, you'll see, if, if you've been a subscriber for a long time, you've seen so many customer return scams, you know, bait and switch, return wrong items, you know, keep the new, return the old, you know, it's about everything that you, that you can think of. You'll see it on this channel. And actually, it kind of helps too if you do sell on eBay or Amazon or any online platform. So you can kind of see the kind of items that get scammed more than others. You know, like electronics is a highly scammed category. Electronics are. Because this stuff can get expensive. This looks like an iPad looking thing or something. But don't let all the customer scams scare you from be becoming an, an entrepreneur, becoming a small business reseller. Don't let that scare you. I mean, because the majority of people out there are good people. There's, there's just a select the entourage group of people who enjoy scamming and stealing from uh, customer return scams, you know. But yeah, watching my channel, you'll see that, I mean... It's not as bad as what it might seem to be at times. Maybe. 
This is a Belkin. Should I know what this is? What is this? It has no label on it. Oh, Belkin Portable Tablet Stage, model B2B118. Belkin Portable Tablet So I guess you set that there, you put your tablet on that. Okay, let me look this thing up. I'm just, I, honestly, I'm kind of curious what this thing even sells for. So I'm looking on Amazon and this sells for, it sells new for $79.99. Okay. It doesn't really do anything. You just put your iPad on it and it's just a stand for it. Why do you need this for? Why spend 80 bucks in a stand? You can get much, much cheaper versions of this other items for a lot less. I don't know, but sells new for 80. If it sells new for 80, more than likely, this looks like just, it looks brand new, just a open box item. So honestly, this thing might sell for 40, 50 bucks used. I mean, it's not even used. It's actually, it's just new without packaging. So I bet you, honestly, I probably easily get about 50 bucks for this item. So right now, that's the best item in, in this palette so far. Well, I guess that, but okay. We got a couple things left in this box. Oh, another one of these love babies. That's different. It's, it's the same one. Put your baby's teeth in it and their umbilical cord. Still kind of strange. And then last item. Letter size. Oh, it's just a plastic thing. You put the paperwork in, hang it onto the wall. Okay, that's it for the first box. Not the best box. All the value must be in box number two. Because this first box didn't have anywhere close to $1,700 in value. Next box has got to have some home runs in it, so I'll be back. Next box, we've got second box, last box. Hopefully this has got, this is the value in it, hopefully. Um, this might be some big ticket right here. Oh, this might be big ticket. Um, I can't really see what's in this box. There's too much big stuff on top hiding what's underneath of it. But here we got a Scan Snap S1 300i. What's the brand? Oh, Fujitsu for Windows and Mac. A Scan Snap. This might be one of the big ticket things in this palette. There's that. Loading instructions. So there you got your charging cord and the scan snap. So I need to look this thing up because this might have been like my main hit in the palette. Maybe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, wow. Yep, I've never seen this before, but I know a lot of these kind of like portable deluxe scanner things can be expensive. This thing on Amazon, I actually want to take a screenshot of this right now so I can actually post this in the video. I did not expect this whatsoever. This sells new right now. Full price is $295, okay? Right now it's on a temporary sale on Amazon for $244.99. Wow. I thought maybe it was like 100, 150 bucks. This thing's almost right now on sale for 250. So this is an open box item. Um, it's got the cord, it's got the unit, it's got the instructions, it's got the CD. Let me actually check uh, eBay just to see what their used prices are doing. Cause there's none being sold used on Amazon. Actually, hold on, yes there is. Amazon, they're selling used by several sellers for between 175 and 200 used on Amazon. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna check eBay just because it's such a high 
ticket item. I'm just kind of curious to see what it sells for used on eBay. So here's actual sold eBay listings. I'm seeing 169, 169, uh, 169, 135, 149, 160, 179, 188, 190, 165, 160, 160, 155, 160, 159, 160. So it looks like, honestly, used condition. It can go for about 160 on eBay and about 175 on Amazon the way it sits. So that's actually fantastic. Like, yeah, so like obviously as a reseller, you try to sell at the more expensive platform first. So like I would try Amazon first for like 175, see if I can get 175 for it. That actually pays for about what, three quarters of this whole pallet, one item. I like that. Good item, good item. Here we go, now we're getting value. Now we're getting value. Let's see, we got an Exacto School Pro pencil sharpener. Say it's still factory sealed. That's about 30 bucks. Okay. Oh, nice. Another good item. I've had this before. It's Microsoft Surface Go type cover. And still factory sealed. Has not been opened up. You got the factory seal this side, factory seal on that side. Brand new, has not been opened. That is freaking awesome. Let's look this up. Amazon sells new for 75 bucks on Amazon. This thing is still factory sealed. I always beat the Amazon price by at least like 10%, upwards of 20%. So if it sells new on Amazon for 75, like I would try to sell mine for probably about 60 bucks. 60 bucks. So you know what? These two items right here, these two, about 175, 60. So you're talking there is, uh, wow, time for some math. Talking about what, 235? These two paid for the whole pallet. It's paid for. Everything else is profit. I like that when that happens. I like that. You get a couple things out, pays for everything. Everything, everything else is profit. Cable to hook up your phone. Okay, we got a CD. Oh, cool. Got a Jerry Garcia band CD. Wow, this has gotten exciting now. That first box, ooh, that was rough. But the second box though, so far it's come through. It's come through big. Oh, that's a nice CD set. We got a three disc CD set of uh, the Jerry Garcia Band, volume one, March 1st, 1980, Capitol Theater. That's probably a good 10 bucks right there, I bet. Even in used condition, it's probably a good 10 bucks. Oh, cool, we got Rick Springsteen live on Broadway CD. That's like a box set. See, it's probably our 10 bucks right there. Yeah, <laughs> like, nice. Okay, we got a JBL Control 2P mounting kit. Model number MTC-2P. I gotta look this thing up. Like, I'm all excited now. <laughs> yeah, that, that first box, I was, uh, a little, I was a little nervous of that first box. But now it's just kind of like, I can't wait to see what comes out next because I think this is going to end up being a pretty good Pretty good palette after all. Okay, so where, where is it? I had it. There it is. Oh, this thing's only, it's $21. Nah. 21 bucks. It's all still, it's all still new in the box, so I got stuff like $15. Okay, next. Dead but dreaming. A DVD. Never heard of this movie. It looks like a lower budget movie. You know, a lot of DVDs I sell for just, just like a couple bucks, you know what I'm saying? Oh, nice! Another good, oh, it's Crush, though. We got Queen Greatest Hits 2 and 3, uh, but it is, it's crushed. Let me see if the discs are damaged. That stinks. Because I've sold, I've actually got this box set out uh, three or four times now. And I've been selling them. The ones that aren't like crushed like this. I think I was selling for like 15, I think I was. Uh, of course, depends on this part. Okay, first CD, fine, not damaged. Carefully. I don't want to get like a mess of plastic pieces everywhere. Cool, okay, so there's disc two, disc three. 
None of the discs are damaged. So all I have to do now is get a replacement case and I can sell this thing for like 15 bucks. So cool. Okay. There will be a CD in either this palette or the next palette or the next palette that will be like, they'll be missing. It'll have one of these, but it, it'll be missing like one of the CDs and, it, and, we'll, and like what's left won't be worth much. So I'll just take these, put it into the other case, sell that. Too easy. Let's see what we got. Blade sharpening kit push real. What? We got a blade sharpening kit for a pit push reel mower. Why is this the electronics? There's a person's return slip. Doesn't say anything of why they returned it. Oh, it's still, it's still new. It has not been used yet. It's that's still new. I can throw away the return slip. So yeah, everything on this is still still factory sealed. It's, it's all new. But a blade sharpening kit that can be much more like what? Maybe like twenty bucks or so. Can't be that expensive. Let's see, we got some more DVDs. We've got Rust Taff, I still believe. A couple bucks there for that DVD. And then, wow, this thing is crunched. Let me see if the disc is damaged. But this case, this is just poly bag by Amazon. It's not like a factory seal or anything. If it's factory sealed, I would not open it up. Oh, the disc is fine. It looks like it. Yeah, disc is fine. Just the, the the case uh, the case has been through a battle, but yeah. Oh, cool, Queen, same set. Disc one. Huh, it's kind of perfect. This is actually missing disc three. It's missing it. So what I can actually do, actually. Take out disc three from this set where the it's kind of kind of trashed. Put it into this set. And now here is a complete Queen Greatest Hits two and three Platinum Collection set. Disc one, disc two, disc three. It's all in fantastic shape. Check these two discs. Cool. Yeah, fantastic shape. Now I have a complete Queen, an, or say another one. Come on, get in there. Complete queen disc set in fantastic shape. 15 bucks. Now this set, it's crushed and it's missing disc three. So maybe I'll actually end up getting a queen that's missing disc one or disc two and I've got a, a, a replacement disc now. So actually this one, I'll just put this off to the side and I might get another queen set that's missing one of the discs and I got replacement discs now. So, you know, it, it always kind of works out. Oh, cool. We got a queen. Or not queen. Prince. They're both kind of royalty, you know. Oh, that's a cool. Okay, so there's the outer cover. This is the ultimate rave. Rave unto the year 20 DVD. It's a, it's a whole bunch of stuff on it. Open it up. Look how cool that is. Open it up again. And you have a Prince three disc set. No, yeah, three disc plus a book. Ultra cool. I've never seen this. Let me see how much this thing costs. Wow. I did not expect that. The Ultimate Rave Blue Spec CD2 Edition. Wow. Sells for $79.79 on Amazon. This sells new for 80 bucks. Yeah, this will be an easy, probably $50 right here. Easy. Easy 50 bucks. Good palette. This palette started bad, but man, it's got good really fast. This is this is getting fun. Here you got a Kenny Rogers CD. Most CDs I sell for like two or three bucks. There's an ABBA. Definitive Collection ABBA. A lot of ABBA fans. This is a two-disc set. Probably good five bucks on that. Live, the Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir. Pray. A couple bucks. There's another one of the Jerry Garcia ones from earlier, like the same, no. This one's volume, oh, okay. Earlier was volume one. Not fire to seal, just poly bag. This one is volume five. So there's different volumes of the Jerry Garcia band set. Got both CDs, good to go. Oh. Okay, that's kind of, 
kind of neat. Not better seal, just poly bagged by Amazon. Here's volume. The Jerry Garcia Band Act One. That's a very large CD set there. So here's like three. Like sometimes what I actually might do is sell these, lock these up. There, there, but there might be more Jerry Garcia. I just don't know. Oh, I think there is right here. Yep. Here's volume two. Just poly bag, not factory sealed. Jerry Garcia. Cool. Both in there. Well, something like this, you got volume one, vol or volume five, two, and one, and then another live one. Something like this. A lot of times I will actually lot these on like eBay, like all these together for like 40 bucks. Like a lot of times I, I will do that. Or like 10, 10 bucks a piece of it. Cool, here's the thing of batteries. I'm gonna keep this. Like watch batteries. Keeping that. Phone. Little uh, handset, 10 bucks on that. Oh, we have a little intercom. So if you want to talk on your phone, you know, about 10 bucks. We've got some cords. Plug in your headphones, one in, other end goes into your iPhone without the headphone jack. Plantronics. What is this? Uh, I don't know what this is. Plantronic. Sometimes Plantronic stuff can actually go pretty decent value. Wow, this thing sells new on Amazon. Is that right? Yeah. $56. No? Renewed. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. $56? That's what it says. If that's right, I don't know. But... Looks to be brand new. You know, I'd, I'd probably try to get like 40 bucks out of it then. Let's see what else we got. Sky, Go, Sky Glow Broadband Light Pollution Filter for your camera. Just a little uh, accessory piece. Probably 15, 20 bucks on that. We got and these guitar, yeah, these are electric guitar strings. Elixir. Are they in there? Yep, have not been used yet. We got Elixir guitar strings. Then just a DVD. Okay. In wall cable routing kit, Echo Gear. Probably not much on that, 10, 15 bucks. Oh, cool. I actually just watched this movie for the first time a couple days ago. Venom. It was really good, too. And so it's missing the disc. Whoever returned it, they kept the disc. And. The digital code is still there. So the code actually might still work. Don't know though. Hmm. Okay. Then we got the DVD. Oh, we got a little phone kit to mount your your phone in your vehicle. I sell those things for like five bucks. Certified refurbished iPhone 7 Defender case, Otter Box. It hasn't been used. Factory refurbished case. That's pretty nice. That's probably good. 15, 20 bucks on that. I'll make this. I'll put this thing back in much prettier whenever I go back through and you know this palette. Let's see. Dash cam. Go say 535 dash cam super HD 1296p. Ooh, I might got something good here. Not factory sealed. It just been retaped by somebody else. They just put a piece of masking tape on it. Yeah. Cut the tape. Ooh, nice. Oh, it still has the film on the back of it. And on the front, you know, it had that protective film that you peel off before you use the first time. It's still on it. This has not been this has not been used yet. Instructions still sealed. There's the HD card. Yeah, this this whole thing has not even been used yet. Not been used. So this is pretty much just an open box new item. I gotta look this thing up because I've never heard of this brand. It might be a good brand. 
Whoa, nice. New Amazon, $116. New. This is new open box item. You know what? I'm going to try to get 90 out of it. You know, knock off like a little more than 20%. Now, yeah, yeah, I'll probably try to get about 90 bucks for it. You know what? That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, next. We've got we got some records. That's fun. We'll end on, we'll end on the records since I love going through all the records because I collect records. There's quite a few. It looks like there's even like a... Ooh, nice. There's a band here with a record that I don't have any of yet. Now I'm going to have one. Okay, we got a thing of a uh, bow stitch... Straight finish breads. Okay, that's nice. Electronics. We got a stapler, or not a stapler, plier type stapler. Then we got iPhone cord. That's the first iPhone cord, this whole pallet. That's awesome. Extension cigarette lighter adapter. These three things, and then we got records. We got 12 colors, acrylic paint markers. Might to keep those. Might to keep those. Then we've got cable matters. It's a data cable. And then we got a stamper. Okay, here we go. Records. I like these. First one, this one I'm keeping. We got freaking sticks. Sticks. If you like sticks, comment down below. Sticks rocks. Nice. That's my actually my first sticks record in my record collection now. First one. Let's see condition. Lots of fingerprints, but it's good. Just gotta do a gotta do a cleaning on it. Good. Awesome. Sticks. Okay, next we've got <laughs> sticks. <laughs> so two sticks. I'll sell one of these. I sell all my records for $16 shipped in the U.S. So you want, if you want to buy a sticks, let me know. It's $16 shipped, U.S. shipping. This one is still in the shipping box. Who do we have? Well, if I can get it open. Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. A Star is Born. It's actually a really good record. I've got this thing three or four times now. Yeah, this one is $20 shipped if you want this one. Good record. It's actually a really good record. Good soundtrack. Next, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Long After Dark. I've never been a Tom Petty fan, so I won't be keeping this. This one will be for sale if you want. Tom Petty, hit me up, first person. 16 shipped. And then we've got... One of the fancy records. Yeah, 16 shipped. Let's see, next. New bottle old wine, Gil Evans. Great jazz composers. Okay, 16 shipped on that. Next. Oh, is that Elvis? Yeah, it is. This is an Elvis, like an international copy. It's not factory sealed. It's just poly bags. So I'm going to take the poly bag off. So we have an international record. Elvis. Different. Okay. Um, some of the international stuff can go kind of uh, higher than normal sometime. I'm going to look this thing up just because I'm actually kind of curious. It is $49.99 on Amazon. This vinyl is $49.99. Of course, it's not factory sealed. It's been opened up, but this is a, looks like a Japanese or Chinese import. Sells new for 50 bucks. Like, I'll probably sell it for like $30 shipped, more than likely around that range. It's a nice record. I'm not an Elvis fan, so I won't be keeping it. I've never been like, you know, when... Elvis person. We got a Bob Dylan. Any Bob Dylan fans out there? 16 shipped. 
few records left. Oh, cool. I, got, I actually got this one, the last palette. So I actually will be selling this one then. We got a Bob Marley. The best of Bob Marley. Cool record. 16 shipped if you want it. Hit me up, first person. We have Naser, N A S A R. I've never heard of Naser. Nasir, Naser. Not sure. 16 shipped. Two records left. Okay, we've got The Snowman. So kind of a soundtrack of <laughs> The Snowman. 16 shipped if you need this in, in your life, let me know. First person, last item, last record. We got Nora Jones. And there we go. 16 shipped for Nora Jones. So that's it. That is the two box palette. That, okay, the first box was kind of bad. The second box, this box was freaking fantastic. This is going to be insanely profitable palette. Now, I'm very, very happy with what I got on this palette. I'm extremely happy. This will be a lot of fun to go back through, go back through, and it'll be fun selling this stuff. A lot of cool items, you know? And I'll be keeping one thing from this entire palette, which will be a sticks record. So at least I got one thing to keep. Everything else, I'm selling it all. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon, and I'm out.